Hello, Mario's Web Crap of the Week, Season 4, Episode 52. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are easily offended, you don't like not safe for work material or slightly risque or smutty stuff, please leave now and go and watch something else because we may very well offend your sensibilities with some of our material. However, for those of you that have uh, perhaps got the thicker skins or uh, more tolerant of this sort of stuff, you're more than welcome to stay on for the last show of season four so that's episode 52 the next uh, episode coming up will be the first of season five so here it is web crap of the week the show where we collect all of the web crap that comes across our screens for the week and we present it to you in a potpourri of web crap that's easy to watch you don't have to do anything all you have to do is sit back kick your shoes off, get yourself some popcorn and a drink, and just lay back and watch. You, We do the heavy lifting so that you don't have to. But first, a word from our crappy wood A-lister of the week. Uh, this guy here, unknown man with a bow tie and a tuxedo, and he, he tells us that he's been a, uh, a, a staunch supporter of uh, Mario and says that everyone should like and subscribe and watch um, Web Crap of the Week. He said it's the best web crap he's seen in a long time. The Crappy Wood A-lister of the week, uh, this uh, dude in tuxedo here. So, yeah, let's follow his advice and, uh, well, get on with the show. So, uh, first up, we have this uh, comfortable-looking noise-cancelling toilet. I can certainly see a need for that. Not long past Christmas, but uh, hey, let's have a go at Santa. Works one day a year, spends the rest of the year judging you. Well, uh, makes a fair point. And uh, this one about the arrogance of cats. I puked in the kitchen. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> and then there's this one, uh, sponsored by Acme. And uh, yes, the mystery is solved. I had nightmares last night because I ate too much licorice before I went to bed. What were you dreaming about? All sorts. Nice visual gag here for Moz42. Something he can maybe add to his collection, if it's not in there already. And this little gem dripping in irony and sarcasm or both. An asteroid threatens to crash on Earth. The solution, the world introduces an asteroid tax. Earth is saved. Oh yeah, well done. Go back, something has gone wrong. My God, what did you eat? I never understood how the little drummer boy's parents could just send him outside alone at night to play his drum until my daughter bought a recorder home from school. Man survives a Kodiak bear attack with just a .22 pistol. The friend he shot in the knee was not as lucky. <laughs> and here from this week's thumbnail star... A bit of sound, bit of advice. Don't feed your dog Skittles. I've combined a laxative and alphabet soup. I call it letter rip. <laughs> I like it. What an ugly baby. And that's how the turkey became the traditional Christmas dinner. How I feel over Christmas tide. 1st to the 26th of December, festive. 27th to the 31st, confused, full of cheese, unsure of the day of the week. January, etc., fat. 
Hmm, yes, I would agree with that. That is fairly typical. And now coming up, we have a few photographs where the timing was a little bit unfortunate, uh, depending, of course, on your point of view. A number of them involve animals photobombing the situation. With some of these scattered in between, statism is the belief that a group of people who can't fix potholes can fix an entire planet. Hmm. And uh, some of them involve the background of the photograph revealing some unintended information. As is the case with our sartorially elegant A-lister of the week, or Crappywood A-lister of the week, having his photograph taken by what appears to be his father or older sibling in his underwear, as revealed in the mirror behind his right shoulder. But, hey, he's the Crappywood A-lister of the week, so, yeah, give him a fair go. Yeah, fair enough, this one. That's happened to us a couple of times. The neighbour's cat's moved into our place, unbeknown to us. But, uh, yeah, it always has some interesting consequences. And a timely bit of Christmas advice, Christmas tip. Put your rubbish trash in your neighbour's bin so they get robbed instead of you. Marvellous. Hi, I'm Al, and I've been hooked on Christmas trees my whole life. Hi, Al. <laughs> and this, from the viewers, my lovely wife, in, in fact, sent me this during the week as it came into her inbox. Is smoking pot and then masturbating considered weed whacking? Hmm, good question. And the last selection of the year from Moz, I decided to break all my resolutions early so I can start enjoying the rest of the year. Hmm, yes, makes a very... And typically around this time of the year, you got dunked on New Year's Day too. Yes, uh, very pertinent and true. Well done, Moz. And we saw earlier how Santa only works one day of the year. Not true. He actually masquerades as Nicky's roof repair. Aha, uh -huh. Moz is onto it. And the astute viewers amongst you will be saying, well, wait a minute, there's no biker reference for Moz. Aha, uh -huh. here it is, his final offering of the year, Biker's New Year's Resolutions. One, ride bikes. Two, look at bikes. Three, talk about bikes. Four, repeat. And I have to say, I think they were the same resolutions that Moz had last year, judging by a lot of his channel content. And there's nothing wrong with that. Thanks very much, Moz, for your marvellous contribution throughout Season 4, 2019. And we look for more material for 2020. It should be uh, clear material with that uh, 2020 vision. All good. Cheers. Thank you for your support. Oh Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? My friends all drive Porsches. I must make amends. Isaac the Kids Page. Isaac got a Mercedes Benz for Christmas. Well done, Isaac. So I just thought I would uh, little uh, put this uh, little post on here of this uh, Porsche 911. Well, I think it is. Well, that's what I typed into Google anyway. I'm not a big, uh, big person on cars. But anyway, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year, Isaac. And uh, I hope you have a lot of fun with your Mercedes Benz. Well done. All good. And uh, that's the end of uh, Season 4, everyone. Thanks very much for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. Appreciate your support and your comments and the, craps that, the crap that you've sent my way. Special thanks to uh, Moz, uh, my lovely wife has sent me, Kelly O, Trent Rowe um, has been a, a commentator, and there's been others along the way. I try not i don't miss out anyone on purpose but uh, thanks everybody for your marvelous support and i look forward to 
Catching up with you again in uh, Season 5, 2020. Cheers. See you. Feel legit. This has been a Mario presentation, recorded live in our studio at Narawahia, Aotearoa, New Zealand, the land of the long white cloud, a place where Kiwis live in a paradise we like to call God's own country.